Uh, hello, welcome back to my Murphy Vlog. You know, rebel code, woohoo. Um, okay, well, here should be a string pairing. First up, we have Field of Cream, written by Martin Olkin. Um, Gak Igway or like, Kuggin, Uncle, whatever relative, <laughs> farm in order to help him with some farm chores, which he needs some help with because he's a gay kitty boy. Well, meanwhile, the current cabinets are told to go by a lot to go to that farm to pick up some more alien trash, essentially. Um, I do not have much to get back with one, because I'm well, good. Um, it was, it definitely, much like Picture Day and a couple other ones, it definitely harkened back to Kingdom 1, where, you know, you know, they do a thing, and things go wrong, because I'm going on that more on it, and it was fun. You know, there were some fun gags, you know, with the, um, farm stuff, you know, like, you attempt to milk a cow, and we get to hear cow fox, essentially. Well, he, the cow fox group, sometimes. The cone cabinets get some fun moments, um, especially when they have the, um, this crazy farmer dude, you know. Um, they a fun shake sequence, where, you know, <laughs> where they mistake my game for aliens, while they go and go check out that alien. But I got a good, um, <laughs> One gag, one gag, having a really short flashback, or like, yeah, we, I'll forget for sure that more to the flashback. Yep, stuff like that. You can do anything spectacular, but it can simple cut up. Um, um, a couple, like at first, we joke about Kenny Boy, who, I don't know, him being, being mocked for being Kenny Boy, if I, I can get old, and they bring that in, so. But kind of that, I don't have any problems with it. They do fantastic, but I like that. We can simple up code. But entertaining. I don't think it need me. And no doof cameo. Two episodes in a row. I mean, yeah, they had a German cameo to make up for it, but this one, nothing. And no run to Phineas at all. Holy crap, they're learning. So, yeah, I, I enjoy this one. But nothing fantastic. It was enjoyable. Nothing to scan out that one. I can go see you in a bit for five <laughs> Okay, now for Final Kinter, written by Valerie and Maria, which is a lot of comments now on. <laughs> um, it ain't going with the cup code, but look kind of signed up for the sort of you go girl thing, in which she is like the mentee to, you know, woman mentor, you know, that kind of stuff. And she just don't like it because it's going to be all, you know, girly and stuff. But then, she got kind she pink off Cavana and break a doing. And crazy stuff, and she kind of sneak into. She finds former entertaining, and sneak into no time limo, and basically acting to get cracked up in the five cool into that the final um type thing, and she basically stuck with Cavana while she helped her figure out something bad that's going to happen at this time there. Um, go. Yeah, okay, first off, uh, the man for last two, we could do instruction in this one, and he had a decent ish role, decent kind of role. Um, and he's more like calling the whole thing that having at the kind of fair. Then he is lending some of the part to it, and one of the parts is from an evil nader, which of course causes an evil robot to appear. Um, speaking of, of, of robot, um, it was pointed out uh, over on Tumblr that, um, yeah, they haven't mentioned Vanessa or Norm yet. And you think the fact, and considering that Norm lived going to disagree with Cabrera, you think he would have been brought up or made sure he's okay because the one with Floyd and can't go with Vanessa? Where is she? Well, either way, that's not important. Doing twerk and roll, yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna get to faction here. I think he has a decent kind of role, but he doesn't grow into basically messing up. And I do like the return of the joke for Dick Do Over where. He could get the judge, and again, he got a point because he knows him. Um, so, I liked that that joke came back. Um, like, everything else is pretty good. Um, we can go fun that book out. Uh, but again, Breaking Command, uh, I won't worry that they probably wouldn't get to appear again or for a while, and the result of the, you know, the whole thing of Command just moving on to coming out. But, but, I'm uh, looking up what the next parent going to be. Um, <laughs> which I should do beforehand. Um, and you know, take the game again. Uh, Mocha and Cabana break it with <laughs> minor plot, where Big thing he can left alone, you know. And we see that he's apparently very used to that, apparently. And you do like, you see a flashback of him being left alone back in it. And you feel like that bad for him. I'm like, aww. 
and he ended up with, you know, hanging all day with the person I'm looking for the book to be with, which is a really cute little guy thing. Uh, but a joke at the end, um, that some people okay could ruin it, but it was a minor side story, not main story. It doesn't matter, and it's funny enough, you know, much like a joke at the end of pay, make weight. So that stuff is the highlight for me, I like being prick like that. But the stuff command was fun, I mean, command is pretty cool. We get to your kick a lot, but and look, I get to help out. We two have decent chemistry, they don't like to have tiny interactions, but they're some good interactions. Uh, but I know we can't go for Skyline and go, but uh, I like that. I like being able to spotlight. Brief moment we got spotlight, but soon we'll look spotlight. Quite like that. Yeah, there's a couple of fun little things. Um, you know, uh, yeah. I do like a joke where Brick got, um, the b block him, right? Because if you, you know, I have to look at the American hand hand combat, I'm like, uh, it's close enough. Yeah, uh, that's funny. Um, the cool web to get the key, which I made. I guess very brick of van or pedestrian duty. Um, I may have been bent in the car court, I don't know. I, there's a lot of stuff happening in that because I don't remember everything. But yeah, I quite enjoyed the point. It was funny, uh, got some ball action, got some, you know, quite key part of Gilo to a short. T1 point, he hung trapped away in my heart, too funny. Like, I don't mind him. Yep, he, I just feel like maybe the whole joke is gonna be he grew think up. I feel like there's more you could do with him than that. But, like, it's a minor thing, and it doesn't, uh, most of the time I'm going to join up because of biting appearance. And I really should not be groaning when doing trick appearance, and the freaking prefer when I appear, it's like, yay. But here, here, I'm like, mm. Like, they've, I am not to up and go do free when he appeared in the corner, like, mm. But I didn't mind him too much. Even if he did call him in trouble, the get put up and get entertaining and whatever nice regardless of. So, yeah, but can never quite enjoy the one. You know, kind of do it short because every upper tier one. I enjoy it. I, it was more interesting with the other epic You know, though I had more fun, it was more interesting and it was more entertaining and nice. So, yeah, I quite enjoyed the one as well. Um, they even grind team agent and do it short so much because they did do it. <laughs> and they did run from fair up, could go do over a lot of that cool. But yeah, fat fat pairing. It was a call pairing, I think. Um, the other episode was more even. It feels like more even. The had better good stuff go. They're both one up and go. And you know, uh, so yeah, there I go. I think they're moving away from the out quality. I got to get them, but at least pretty good. Um, yeah. But anyway, so the next um pairing is going to be Milo Shadow and Kick Day. I already know Milo Shadow look about. <sighs> But hey, hopefully it'll be good. Go, so I guess I'll see you whenever for when that stuff happens. Goodbye.